Welcome to a brand new video on Black Clover Mobile. Now in today's video, what I want to do is talk about how free to play friendly is the game. Now the reason why I want to talk about that is because this is a new release. So technically a new release. I believe the game has been out for over three weeks now. So a lot of players are looking towards this game and trying to, trying to decide whether this game is worth spending their time in, whether this game is free to play friendly towards players. Because if a game is free to play friendly, it basically shows that they're not out there just trying to take your money which essentially most gacha games that revolve around anime so anime ips are usually just there to take your money like there are so many gacha games out there that have some anime ips that are essentially just created to steal your money and honestly it is very very annoying and vexing so when you take a look at uh, to a game like black clover mobile a lot of people are wondering whether this is the exact same thing they are doing and i can tell you guys right now no it is not black clover mobile is an insanely free to play friendly game so i'm going to be talking about that in today's video now i've taken a newfound look on gacha games in terms of how much i should be spending now i typically spend a lot on, on gacha games um but recently i've actually taken a newfound look on how much i want to be spending on a gacha game because i was thinking you know what if i have to spend a lot in a game i i don't like that i recently don't i, I recently decided like spending a lot in a game is something i don't want to do anymore i used to spend over 300 which a lot of people will probably say that's not a lot like so many games out there, there there's many whales out there that willingly spend a thousand but me honestly i spent like 300 400 500 600 i i just don't like that like i honestly hate that now so honestly i want to be spent i, I want to be as free to play as, as possible moving forward on any gacha game i play so black clover mobile is going to be the first game that i try to be as free to play friendly as possible however i can't lie it is tempting to spend in this game now i have spent one dollar i need to clarify that just so that uh you know safety reasons for account um it's easier to you know recover your account um if anything happens to it based on having a purchase record so i i did that for that reason but I, I can't lie this game has so many tempting packs that honestly is very very good for anyone who wants to will because the packs in this game are so worth it like well some of them are worth it I, I i might be tempted to actually buy the battle pass now i said i'm not going to spend a lot in, in gacha games doesn't mean i'm not going to spend any amount i i just want to make sure that i don't spend over like a certain amount during the first few weeks of a game releasing because it's essentially i don't know if i'm going to play this game for a long time now with black clover mobile i can tell i'm going to play this game for a very very long time this game is so free to play friendly so let's talk about that but before i carry on don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on black clover mobile if you guys don't want to miss out on future content on the game make sure that post notification is on and if you guys enjoyed this video then go ahead and like the video if you guys like this video i i can't guarantee you get amazing luck for julius banner but hey there is a chance you might get absolutely amazing luck so go ahead and like the video it doesn't cost you anything so um julius is coming out actually in one day so you know prepare your resources prepare your account prepare to get excited for julius so how free to play friendly is this game now i actually think the fact that they're releasing two of the best characters around like early game like uh, early release is actually amazing for free to play players now i know free to play players are thinking what the hell is he talking about why is it really the best characters right now good for free to play players well it's because you can okay as you're progressing in this game you are getting so many resources like if you see people's free to play account they have over 400 summons saved up it is insane they have a lot of summons prepared to to get any character they want so when they release new well and also they have the gateway reunion which i will talk a little bit on about as well but the fact that you can get noel that one of the best characters for free as well as you have resources to even summon on the banner with so many good characters is insane because next up is julius and once again you have a lot of resources saved up because you know early game you have a lot of resources being given to you so you can actually get julius's as well and after julius and noel is here and the, the banner is gone essentially the rest of the banners you don't necessarily have to summon like as a free to play player you guys are set you have noel you have julius's julius as well you guys are set and let's not forget about the gateway of reunion now this is one of the best aspects of this game i said one of the best because this game has so many aspects that is insanely amazing so this gateway of reunion allows you to literally get one character from the seasonal unit now essentially it means you can get the best characters every single season 
so obviously you guys are going to be selecting the best units out of the free ones but moving forward it's only going to be two seasonal characters um moving on from season three i believe um but you can get the best one and it's actually very very free to play friendly because all you really need to do is just play the game this game rewards you from playing so by playing you can do the advanced you get this key over here sorry that allows you to not get one of the seasonal characters free to play this is insane now in jp and kr they recently actually changed that they've removed that and instead give you like a, a box where you can select a character from season one all the way to season six everyone everyone listen to me right now we need to start praying that they do not do that because some of the like the literally the best thing about this game one of the best thing is the gateway of reunion so i hope i really really hope they do not remove it and i really think everyone would love it if they keep gateway of reunion forever literally amazing amazing feature in this game like i mentioned this is only one of the best free to play um, free to play things in this game because they also give you dupe resources like universal dupe resources that you can get every single time you clear the um the advanced one so essentially every 20 days i think because is that all you require yeah every 20 days basically you can always get this universal dupe pieces so make sure you are doing your daily missions literally this game rewards you from playing this is actually one of the best games out there for that main reason because they they as you keep playing this game your account will just keep getting stronger and stronger but like compared to other games where obviously your account gets stronger the more you play this game just gives you so many resources that will instantly make your account a lot more stronger that essentially does not make you it doesn't really incentivize you to spend now this sounds bad for the for the devs because they're like yo i obviously want to get money i can't be giving you guys free stuff for free but still but the fact that the packs are actually good to buy in this game they are still going to be earning a lot of money i i am so tempted to will on this game simply because of how good the packs are this game is actually good for that reason as well now obviously that means there's going to be a lot of whales but that is fine um arena there's actually the attacking team always has a benefit over the defending team so it's always good for you as attacking team to um you know try and push as hard as possible in arena but obviously there's a lot of players right now so it's kind of hard to push up but um you just have to time it right correctly actually you need to time it right so essentially when there's a reset everyone it gets pushed down to one level and you essentially just try and push arena from there that's what i'm gonna be doing but um but yeah yeah like i said this this game has to, like universal shards or universal dupe resources is insane so especially when you start off the game as well there is the thing called the mage path which gives you more universal stuff as well um as you can see right now i have two other ones like i said every 20 days you get one given to you which you can essentially feed into one of your best or the strongest characters in the game now you guys can plan it as well with um after getting julius you, you were trying to you know build you get all the dupes for julius to, to try to get all the dupes for noel you guys can now start saving your universal dupe resources for future characters that are absolutely insane however there is actually a couple of characters in game that you might want to give dupe resources to for example charmy to unlock the level two passive but honestly this game is insane for free to play players like i if anyone calls this game pay to win now actually i hate the term pay to win because i believe i truly believe every single gacha game is pay to win because by definition now originally pay to win meant as long as you can spend in the game spend real life money in a game and you get benefit from that that's technically pay to win however with gacha game people have changed that meaning slightly to mean um if they if they if the game is trying to force you to spend resources to clear content or this game is just heavily incentivizing you to spend then that's pay to win um if they can't clear content because you haven't spent then that's pay to win that's that's what gacha players think pay to win means but essentially i believe every gacha game is pay to win but in terms of of black clover mobile like the game rewards you guys like if you're free to play player you don't feel you don't technically feel the need to spend like obviously the packs are good but once again there is no reason to spend to get this character you want i think as long as you plan your resources correctly this game won't try to force you to spend which is absolutely amazing like take a look at like games like uh, genshin impact like obviously if you plan your resources correctly you can get the character but the amount of hurdles you have to go through to get those characters you want plus they don't give you universal du du um, dupe resources like black clover mobile is insane like insane for that reason i absolutely love this game because of that main reason i wasn't even planning to make this game my one of my main games like i have three games i'm currently playing right now 
um genshin impact i log in every day recently haven't been logging in because of black clover mobile it's taking all my time but i i do log in every single day for black clover, um for genshin impact i do all my my stuff um and i spend uh, for the monthly stuff in there as well and i also play nikkei goddess of victory one of my main games as well absolutely love the game i willed at the start right now all i'm buying is just the monthly packs which is only five dollars or five pounds which is you know fine uh, and now we have black clover mobile who is now one of my main games as well so right now i have three main games and those three games are absolutely amazing i was only planning to keep it as two until um you know what's that game seven deadly sins origin comes out or like solo leveling arise comes out but honestly black clover mobile just shocked me it is such a fantastic game 2023 i can't lie this is looking like one of the best games that came out in 2023 I, I i am saying it right now like there's a couple of games that i thought were actually the best from 2023 like uh, brandos 2 but i recently dropped i will not recently i dropped the game because it just takes way too much time um not uh it's a reward and the devs are pretty cool as well but i i just feel like it's is missing something so that game is not the best of 2023 uh snowbreak yeah they kind of dropped the ball on that kind of a lie so honestly black clever mobile is looking at one of the best games of 2023 and if you guys agree or disagree tell me down in the comment section so like i mentioned universal dupe tick and um, dupe resources um able to get a character the strongest any strong character in the season uh free to play please devs do not remove that feature um oh one thing to and the pack's been actually pretty good if you want to spend money in now obviously i would say the best thing to ever buy in this game is the battle pass literally the best thing to ever buy like i'm actually contemplating buying this um i actually would not surprisingly if i go over to shops now obviously i'm talking about free to play this right now i honestly would not recommend you guys buy the monthly subscription it's actually technically bad like this over here it's technically bad like 60 every single day for 28 days and it only gives you 1680 yeah compared to any games that do monthly packs this is actually bad because most games with the monthly subscription they give you the ability to actually do two summons or at least three two summons yeah at least two summons this game gives you just like one summon technically so yeah take that as you will so i will never buy this um and i won't buy this either it just cost way too much i just i'm happy to spend five dollars every month on a game um that's that's the lowest i can go that's the highest i can go now oh no lowest technically um actually no that's the highest technically um but yeah in terms of uh well, okay right now a lot of people will say well because they're in releasing banners too fast it doesn't feel free to play friendly obviously i would say the reason why is because like resources right now is kind of scarce in terms of like trying to upgrade your characters um that's probably one issue with the um increased banner rotation um i'm hoping though that as they release banners fast they do give us more summoning uh resources uh christmas is coming out julius is coming out as well so i don't know what they're going to give us for the christmas celebration but they better give us more than two like more than one multi i think the devs should be giving us more than one multi like we haven't they haven't really released any dev notes which is actually kind of worrying a bit actually because like dev notes is a way for the devs to connect to the players and a way for players to know that the devs are you know trying to have a really good relationship with the players i think every game should do a developer note where they have like a heart to heart to players most games that, that come out actually do that so it's been three weeks now and black clover mobile don't hasn't really done a dev note um maybe they should do live streams as well when they want to release release really hype characters like they could have done a live stream for julius as well actually i think once they once we re, re, not reunite once our banner schedule is on par or on the same place as um, kr and jp i think we will start getting like live streams for the global servers as well because they're going to start releasing characters uh alongside jp and kr and it's going to be a, a, like banners that global players will be interested in just like how black aster was recently released they did a live stream in kr or jp um they they could do the same thing for global not obviously right now with the black black aster coming up but once we merge in terms of our spanner schedule once it finally be, be be on the same level as the jp and kr they might potentially start doing live streams and whatnot but anyways hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on black clover mobile um tell me down in the comment section if you agree or disagree honestly this game is is absolutely free to play friendly like i don't like saying pay to win i, I don't want to ever title my videos uh is this game pay to win because every in my opinion i think gacha games are pay to win but 
it's more of a question of how free to play friendly is the game and honestly there is no doubt that black clover mobile is so free to play friendly that it's kind of worrying that they might realize that they give us way too much stuff they might start taking it away i don't know um but yeah hopefully this game it does become successful guys um i wish all the best to black clover mobile i will be absolutely playing this game for a very very long time the characters are amazing the animations are insane the devs are absolutely fantastic as long as they keep listening to the players when they do like something silly just like the event now the event change they did technically doesn't make the event that much better like obviously you can clear through and get your free asta and go over to the exchange center and get your nr gears but the rest of the stuff is not really required just get this and you're good anyways that is it hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on black clover mobile it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out